hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have square root of x plus 2x equals square root of 4 now let's make square root of x the subject that means square root of x will be on the left and then we have 4 minus 2x on the right the next thing is to remove the square root from here as we square square root of x so this the same square here will reflect on the right 4 minus 2x to the power of 2 this is going to go with this so that square root of um so that x will now be equal to 4 minus 2x into bracket 4 minus 2x. Now some learners will be tempted to change the sign here. Since this is negative, they would want to have neg um, positive here. But it's wrong. 4 minus 2x to the power of 2 means 4 minus 2x in two places. So you don't have to change this sign. Now we have our x to be equal to 4 times 4 is 16 minus 4 times 2x that will be 8x minus 2x times 4 that is minus 8x then plus 4x squared. Okay so how did I get the x squared? Minus 2x times minus 2x is plus 4x squared. So x here is equal to 16 minus 16x plus 4x squared. Now what do I do? I want to write 4x first. So we write 4x squared minus 16x minus x being equal to... Okay, we still have this 16 and that is plus 16. So this is equal to 0. Now we have 4x minus 17x plus 16 equals 0. So now we have a quadratic equation and we can solve this by using the formula method. Okay, so use the formula we have x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is over 2 times a. This formula is called the quadratic um, general formula. So our x will be equal to minus b. This negative will appear. Then b itself is negative 17. So you pick it out. Then plus or minus we have square root of negative 17 to the power of 2. You square that minus 4 times a, a is 4, then multiply by c, and c is 16. So the whole of this will be over 2 times 4, because a is 4 now, right? This means we have x to be equal to 17, because we have um, we are having negative negative 17, that's plus 17, plus or minus we have we are going to have minus 17 squared that will give us positive 289 then minus 4 times 4 is 16 times 16 is um, 256 and then the whole of this will be over 8 right so what we'll do is to subtract um, 289 Take um, 256 out of 289. X is equal to 17 plus or minus square root of 289 minus 256 will give us 3. 3. And that will be over 2 times 4. Okay. Remember this is 2 times 4. And um, that can be 8. Okay. Let me just write this quickly x equal to 17 plus or minus square root of 33 over 8.
So this means that x is equal to 17 plus square root of 33 over 8 or 17 minus square root of 33 over 8. But trust me, both of them cannot satisfy the equation. So I would like to get the decimal value for this. So I'll find the square root of 33. Okay, so we have x to be equal to 17 plus, like we have 17 plus square root of 33 is 5.74. So we have this over 8 or 17. Okay, 17 minus um, 5.74. And this is over 8. Okay, so if you add this and divide by 8, you have x to be approximately 2.84. Or on this side, 17 minus this divided by 8 is approximately 1.41. But then since we're having two positive value, it means that both of them will not be satisfying the cannot satisfy the given equation which is square root of x plus 2x equals 4. So what do we do? Let's put in the values. If I put in the value, remember the first one is um 2.84, right? So we'll be having square root of 2.84 plus 2 multiplied by um 2.84 right now will this give us 4 the answer is um, no this cannot be equal to 4 and this is because if you multiply 2 by this alone it's already more than 4 so the square root of this plus this will be way more than 4 meaning that this value of x has to be rejected right Okay, and if that is, re is rejected, then we'll be working with 1.41. If you put in here, you have square root of 1.41 plus 2 multiplied by 1.41. So let's do that. I will find the square root of 1.41 approximately. It's approximately 1.19. Um, then plus 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is is 2 so we have this and then we shall add this very quickly we have from um, 2.82 2 2.82 plus 1.19 so let's add this to see if it's going to give us a figure that is approximately 4 2 plus 1 is um, 11 this is going to be 9 plus the other one it becomes 10 carry 1 decimal and this is 4 so we're having 4.01 instead of 4, right? And this is still very correct. So x to be equal to 1.41 is correct. Remember, this is an approximated figure. Thank you for watching. And if you love this video, subscribe to my channel for more beautiful videos like this.